Virginia has hit a boiling point, so much so that the elitists are afraid of the next civil war. What do I mean? Watch the next episode of Guns and Gadgets. Hey everybody, welcome back to Guns and Gadgets, your source for Second Amendment news. It is Monday morning. It is the Monday morning grind, brought to you by Black Elk Coffee, fantastic family here in America, small business. They take care of our troops. They take care of this channel. Uh, help them out, buy some coffee, and you help this channel in the, in the meantime, and you get great gourmet coffee. Let's move on to Virginia. Virginia, we know what's been going on. If you don't know, I'll have a video group list there for you to watch. You need to be in the know here. If you're a Second Amendment person, you need to follow what's going on in Virginia. In a nutshell, their governor, uh, Governor Northam, has been trying for years to try to get their typical Democrat uh, gun control forced into Virginia. But up until this last election cycle, uh, there was a, a majority of Republicans in their legislature, which is their General Assembly, same thing. Uh, this election cycle, Michael Bloomberg spent two and a half million dollars of his own money and got the close races to flip based off gun control. Now, come a uh, couple weeks, two and a half weeks from now, when they all get sworn in, it'll be a majority of Democrats in the House, the Senate, and they already have the governor's seat. As a result, and much credit goes out to the Virginia uh, Citizens Defense League, uh, my hat is off to the work that you all have been doing. They have, I think it's 45 now, 45 counties in Virginia have gone to declare themselves a Second Amendment sanctuary. We will not put up with the new laws. You've even had sheriffs come out. And one was so bold to say that in order to save my citizens in my county from this gun control, I'm, I'm willing to deputize everybody. Uh, so it is coming to a fever pitch in the Commonwealth of Virginia. All eyes all around the nation are on your state right now and uh, you are doing a hell of a job. Again, so much so that one of your representatives has penned a letter to your attorney general asking them, can they do this? I'll read you this letter, I'll put it on the screen. But he's so worried about the Second Amendment sanctuary thing that's happening across the state that he's saying that that mentality led to the first civil war. They're worried about the citizens utilizing the rights that they have to stop the tyranny. Let me read you this letter. This letter came from uh, Delegate Jay Jones. He is a member of the House of Delegates, the House in Virginia, and he is of the 89th District. It's uh, to the honor <coughs> quote unquote honorable Mark Herring, who is the uh, AG of Virginia. And this was dated December 2nd, and it says, Attorney General Herring, I write this letter to request a formal opinion from the Office of the Attorney General on the recent actions taken by more than 20 localities across the Commonwealth to declare themselves Second Amendment sanctuaries. These cities and counties have passed resolutions stating that they will refuse to enforce any restrictive state gun laws. Numerous other localities, including the city of Norfolk, which I represent, have been bombarded with requests from citizens to follow suit. The bills passed by the General Assembly and signed into law by the governor are binding for our entire commonwealth and its citizens. The legal precedent we would set by allowing communities to selectively ignore those laws at will is alarming and indicative of the same mindset that nearly 150 years ago led this country to dissolve into a civil war. Assuredly, if the duly elected General Assembly passes measures to advance gun safety in the Commonwealth, I believe the legislature should be able to do so without actions by localities to undermine its efforts. Given the recurring incidents of gun violence in Norfolk and its surrounding areas, violence that has repeatedly been shown to disproportionately harm communities of color, it is my firm belief that it is incumbent on me as their elected re representative to request action from your office on this matter. A formal opinion would be helpful and instructive to local officials across the state as boards of supervisors and city councils continue to receive requests to join the gun sanctuary movement. Moreover, I worry that the absence of such an opinion could hamper the legislature's ability to duly consider and pass gun safety legislation next year. It is critical that we in the General Assembly know the stance of our state's Attorney General on this issue 
so that any legislation passed on the subject both addresses and complies with its official opinion. This issue has become a flashpoint across our state. It deserves and requires immediate attention. Please do not hesitate to contact my office should you have any questions or concerns. Again, Delegate Jay Jones. Virginia, keep the pressure on. The rats are running and they're turning to each other for the answers because they don't know what the hell they're doing. They don't know, they just can't make up tyranny and they can't just take away our right. And they're worried because Virginia is fighting back. Now, your attorney general has had a statement, hasn't addressed uh, Representative Jay Jones yet, but he did say this. These resolutions have no legal effect whatsoever. It's really the gun lobby trying to scare a lot of people. When the General Assembly passes it in the upcoming session, those laws are going to be enforced and they will be followed. So I'm assuming in the next day or two, now that uh, it's Monday, we're going to hear something official from the Attorney General's office to the General Assembly telling them, look, uh, we're all going to stand together because we're all in the Michael Bloomberg boat. We're all looking to take away the Second Amendment from these citizens. So let's all stick together, right? Something to that effect, some, but a little more cowardly, I'm, I'm sure. But hey, the Virginia Citizens Defense League is doing a stand-up knock down, drag out job in the Commonwealth. Keep it up. Spread this like wildfire, ladies and gentlemen. Everybody needs to know this. The country needs to know what's going on in Virginia because this is what's going to stop it. This has to happen in every state. Please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. This is where you're going to get the news, not anywhere else, right here on Guns and Gadgets. I am Jared. Thank you for your time. I appreciate you all more than you know. And until we see each other again on the next one, be safe, stay vigilant, carry a weapon. Hell of a job, Virginia. Stay on them.